up guys my name is daisy lurton for those who don't know today we're gonna do a makeup routine highly requested because y'all oh my god oh my god i've been requesting this doll since back in the day so here we go okay if you don't know now you know your girl is here but i'm about to show you how i do my face okay disclaimer really quick i do this for me my skin has been clear literally my whole entire life i've never really had breakouts or acne stuff like that so this is the stuff that works for my face i know i have combination skin and don't ask me for no skincare routine because i really don't do skincare like that i can literally wash my face with three in one and my face will still be fine okay so please don't ask me none of that please i don't know what's gonna work for you because everything works for me <laughs> so um yeah that's my disclaimer this is the stuff that works for me i don't know about nobody else but let's get into this makeup tutorial all right y'all let's get right into it so as you can see first of all we're gonna apply concealer basically everywhere on the face under the eye on the forehead down the bridge of your nose and on your chin these are the places that i put it if you want to put it somewhere else that is a-okay also you can use concealer to cover any pimples or dark spots that you may have honestly you don't have to leave a gap in between your concealer because as you're going to see in two seconds when i blend it out it's going to be no point look y'all see y'all see how i just put it in the space that i didn't put no concealer and that is exactly why it don't matter what you see people do on social media all these people leaving a gap girl when you blend it it's gonna be gone just put the makeup on as long as you know how to blend you'll be okay i need to do that y'all i'm sorry okay as you can see here i'm using my contour what i did was i put it the contour on the back of my hand and then i put it on my brush and now i'm blending it out where i want the contour exactly um i didn't even use actual contour i used foundation for this so i took the maybelline fit me foundation in the shade 368 and i just went everywhere that i put contour which is the temples my temples um my cheekbone well not my cheekbone under my cheekbone excuse me my jawline and down my neck and that's where i put my contour learn your face learn what your face likes learn what your face does not like if you don't i mean it's not like i said i think but you should definitely learn what your face likes and dislikes i definitely forgot to tell y'all i definitely contour that little corner under the brow and i take it down to my nose this is part of my nose contour i feel like sometimes you don't necessarily have to contour your actual nose but just doing the button of your nose and doing that contour underneath your brow is enough for your nose to look nice so yeah here's that foundation i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i did not mean to make you fall in love <laughs> all right so this blush that i'm using came from a big contour palette i'm about to show y'all in the video i think i do show y'all if i don't show y'all i'll put a picture up but it really don't matter which blush you use. I like to use blushes with a peachier, orangier undertone. I feel like that matches me really well. But if you want to use something different, that's great. I'll use this, okay? So here's my blush shade that I'm using. Um, and here's the contour. <laughs> here's the contour shade. I'll be using, as you can see, that's the darkest one so yeah that is the ruby kisses contour palette i use the darkest shade for my contour sometimes i interchange between the foundation and that contour that i showed you on the palette and then that blush that's what i use all right let's get on to the brows y'all see my brows i really don't apply anything to fill them in my eyebrows are already thick as is and i feel like every single time i fill them in i end up looking like you know one of those crazy people with like thick thick eyebrows um so i really don't fill my eyebrows in i only take some edge control or some type of gel wax whatever i can find around the house that holds hair down i use that and i just put it on my brows and i brush it on there making sure it stays really well and then 
out. I'm done. I feel like when you're starting out, it's so easy to get unmotivated because I feel like people, people think, you know, oh, it's just easy. All you have to do is post. But like in reality, most of the time, that's not the case. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. I'm so sorry, y'all. I just be yapping. I just be straight yapping. I, I apologize. But as you can see, I'm just putting on mascara. Honestly, any mascara works, y'all. Um, the one that I'm using specifically, I'll put up a picture. But anyone should be fine. Also, I really liked how this look looked without lower lashes. So I did not put any mascara on my lower lashes. And now in the video, as you can see, I'm just putting some water on my hair just to... You know refresh it on my wig you know what i'm saying making sure the curls you know are fresh and combed out and stuff like that I don't do what i do but um <laughs> yeah y'all i'm using marker for my lip liner it lasts all day though like beauty supply lip gloss always will have my heart y'all this is just the mint oil beauty supply store lip gloss i feel like nobody needs a picture for that you should know what it looked like all right guys you can see me going back in with that ruby kisses contour palette palette excuse me in the darkest shade and i went on the tip of that eyeshadow brush and i'm just literally applying just the slightest bit to each eye in the outer corner just to draw a little bit of attention and just to lift my face just a little bit more i feel like that is such a go-to thing for me to do just put a little bit of contour a little bit of bronzer whatever on the outer corner of my eye all right y'all that is the finished look i know y'all see it i know y'all see it thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe comment what do y'all want y'all to comment comment what y'all want next or suggestions comment some video suggestions give me some ideas you know what i'm saying tell me what you want tell me what you want from me um thank you so much for watching this video and i'm gonna see y'all later